Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll learn how to build a grill. Now with the development of EVs, uh, there have been a lot of crazy grill designs on the market, uh, especially in concept cars, um, such as the Audi Urban Sphere, and I'm not quite sure which Mercedes-Benz model this is, but as you can see, it's got a very crazy pattern. Now, in order to build these grills, uh, modelers use what's called the parametric modeling. Um, at least, unfortunately, it doesn't have the best capability for doing so, uh, but there are other softwares uh, such as NX, which is primarily used, uh, which has a very robust capability in order to build these kind of things. Now, there are also Elias Dynamo and uh, Rhino, uh, I think Rhino has a, what's called a grasshopper. These are more uh, suited uh, towards uh, computational designs or parametric modeling such as these. Unfortunately, however, I'm not too familiar with um, any of those. But there is uh, there are some functionalities in Elias in order to build basic, very simple patterns. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's go back to Alias. And right now I just have a simple grill surround like this. And I also have a, just the ellipse of to build a pattern with. So I'm going to use this in order to make a grill shape. So what I'm going to do though first is I'm just going to go to a rear view like this. And I'm just going to go under transform and there's a, something called an array. Now there are three different array types that there's just a regular array, there's path array and there's a surface array. Surface array, on, uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's the best tool just because it's, uh, it's, it has to be essentially a single sheet, which in modern car design, it's kind of hard to come by. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use uh, just array in order to build a grill pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the tool and I'm just going to pop up a options box like this. And of course, I'm going to just click on the object to do an array with and I'm just going to say build. And you're going to be getting something like this. Now, if you look at the perspective view, uh, you'll see that uh, why it's stacked on top of each other. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your plane is good. So instead of XZ, or uh, I'm just going to go YZ because I'm trying to project up from here. Now, as far as the numbers, uh, I'm just going to increase it to maybe make it 10 and spacing. This is axis one. So as you can see over here, this uh, the Y axis, the first axis. So, and you just want to change the spacing in order to make it more suitable. So maybe I'll just go something like 70 over here. And uh, I'm just going to go to the second one and I'm just also going to make it maybe like 10. And of course the spacing probably needs to be reduced. So maybe I'll make it around 30. Okay, so that looks more like it. Now there are other functionalities in here as well, such as offset. So if you were to uh, change the offset, as you can see, it becomes a little bit stacked. And of course, you can also do a stagger, which just gives you a half of the spacing as the offset number. Another thing you can use is what's called uh, scale. So if you were, let's say, you wanted this pattern to become a little bit smaller as it goes to the outboard side, what you can do is you can either increase the number or reduce it in this case, and you get a pattern like this, which I'm going to be using. Now, you gotta be a little bit careful because uh, while you might want to use the scale uh, for either the X or the Y and combine it, uh, unfortunately, um, for some reason with the stagger on, it becomes like this. Now, if you were to just use something like this, um, this is more, uh, this is okay. But if you were to put a stagger on it, uh, for some reason, I think it becomes a little bit more broken. So let's say you want to uh, you want a fading like this, you can use that. But I'm going to just keep it on one. And I'm just going to use the stagger over here in order to do this. Now, the problem is right now we only have one side. So what you can do is you can use a mirror function over here like that and you'll get the full side over here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this pattern in order to project onto the grill surface over here and make some uh, grill. So I think I'm going to increase the number of just a little bit like this, maybe 12 and let's see if it fits over here. So I'm just going to bring it up. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to go one less 
So I'm just going to go query the history. Actually, I think I'm just going to do 10. Let's see how that fits. Yeah, I think that fits quite well. And I'm also going to reduce the number over here to maybe eight. And maybe I'll just scale it. Well, I think that's fine. Maybe I'll scale it a little bit like this. Maybe I'll just increase the number just one more. And I'll just project this cruel pattern over onto the base surface that I have. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Now, there should be a uh, curve uh, stacked under here. So I'm just going to go over here. I'm just going to hide it. Oh, actually, I don't. Okay, never mind. Uh, if that's the case, I think I should be able to project the whole thing on here. So I'm just going to uh, grab the grill surface, uh, the base surface over here. And I'm just going to grab all the curves like this. And I'm just going to use project, uh, use uh, X uh, vector option in order to project. Or you can, of course, go in the front view. Now, this is going to take some time. But as you can see, you get a grill pattern like that. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And what you can do is you can either trim it or you can uh, put some flanges on it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to trim it first. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use um, not discard, but I'm just going to say keep over here like that. I'm just going to go through all the surfaces like this. Now, of course, it is all, uh, obviously going to be a lot easier if you have... Well, I think that looks pretty good. All right. Now, if this was just a single sheet, uh, that is, of course, going to be a lot more convenient. But uh, due to the complex nature of the surfacing over here, uh, it's probably not recommended um, depending on the design. OK, so now uh, what I can do is I can just grab the whole thing over here and I can just use a draft over here. I'm just going to drag select. Of course, so this is going to take some time because there's a lot of surface over here. And what you want to do is, uh, depending on the situation, you just want to deselect these kind of uh, surfaces over here. And it looks like it's taking a bit of time. Okay, you know what? I think it might be better just to delete the surface afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, well, you can add draft, but uh, just for this uh, demonstration, I, I'm not going to do that. I think the length of 10 is fine. Uh, just to add a little bit of thickness over here. And let's go ahead and just build. It's, of course, it's a lot of surfaces, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So let's just uh, let it crunch. Okay. So that's that. I, uh, I think I will probably just make it a half thickness um, instead of 10. I'm just going to make it maybe five. Actually, yeah, let's do four. And just let it crunch and you get a grill pattern like that. Now, I'm just going to go in here and just do a little bit of cleanup. So let's go ahead and do that. So all of these surfaces over here um, are not necessary, especially one in the middle. So I'm just going to delete those. I'm going to delete these. Now it's a little bit manual process, but well, it's it is necessary to get those done. So let's just do that. So I'm just going to grab these over here. And this one, I think that's good. And I think the one in the center, let's just delete those. I think this is the only one left. So let's get rid of those. Okay, and I think that is it. So all I have to do is just grab both. Well, you can duplicate it or you can, of course, just do a mirror. So I'm going to say symmetry. Um, I think default layer also needs a symmetry over here. I'm going to do a symmetry over here like this. And you get a neat little pattern like this. And that's it. So that's how you build a grill pattern in Alias. All right. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.